guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. Well, today I'm going to be testing out the long play controller uh, for the Intellivision. As you can see right now, I got the Intellivision 2 hooked up. Um, I pulled the controller, my other controller out, and I put this one, plugged this one in its place. Um, so I did a video about this already where I, where I kind of unboxed it and I talked about it. But this is the time where I actually get to test it out and try it out and see if this thing, how it plays, how it feels. So the first thing I want to do is I want to feel or play around with uh, putting out an insert because um, it it's kind of slides in at the top here. You can see there's a groove it's going in a little bit crooked here because I don't want to knock the camera over. But you can see I'm I'm putting it in. It's, it's fitting nicely. Now, I mean, obviously these were were designed for a, uh, a controller like this. So it is kind of weird to have that kind of floppy thing kind of out there. Um, and it looks like it, it it's hard to get it in there that it's not going to cut off the top here. Um, but otherwise, I mean, it, it looks like it's working. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it does function and you can put in a, an overlay, which was one of the thoughts when I, when I first saw this controller, I thought, well, what about the overlays? Um, so let's, uh, let's see it. Uh, I know somebody asked uh, earlier about this fitting into the uh, cradle. Um, yeah, it ain't. It ain't gonna do it. Uh, this thing po po uh, pokes out too much, and um, you know the original Intellivision controller has a uh, an L shape to it. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna play some games with this, and we're gonna see um, how this uh, how this controller works. Okay, so let's let's try the uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons first with this controller and see how it plays because uh, it does use the buttons and the disc a lot. So, whoa, I went into the Advanced game. That's okay. Um, so, yeah. Maybe I'll turn that up a bit just so we can get a little voice or volume, I should say. Um, so my first, my first thought is that it is, the, the disc is plastic. Um, can, well, I, you know, can, it has a plasticky feel to it. So what I'm, um, you know, I feel like it's more like a button that I'm pushing than, than, uh, the, the disc. Oh, I just got killed. The disc on the, uh, the original feel, has that little bit more of a uh, slippery feel to it. This one has that kind of. I don't know. A grippy feel to it. And I could say that it, it you know, it, it does feel comfortable when I'm holding it and it's the same uh, feel to it. Like, uh, you know, where I would put my thumbs. Now I know that uh, a few people have voiced already uh, on my first video about the uh, the notion that it's it's for people who would uh, I guess right-handed people or people who use their uh, their left thumb uh, and some people when they held the uh, the in the Intellivision controller they were able to hold it with uh, use the disc with their uh, with their right thumb so I'm doing all this with my left thumb right now um, and I guess you know with the with the original design it doesn't matter that the uh, um, you know, which, which, which way you hold your thumb, which thumb you use because you hold it in the center. So it was something interesting to think about, but I mean, if you think about all the other controllers that have come out, you know, after the NES or, you know, NES itself, uh, they were all pretty much designed that way with the, uh, with the controls on, on the left hand side, like this, the stick or whatever the disc or whatever they had, the, uh, the plus button. Let's let's try something else. So that was um, that was just Dungeons and Dragons. Let's try a more arcade port. Um, homebrew. Let's go to G two arcade. Let's give this one a shot. I guess the other thing that's going to take some getting used to is the buttons, uh, because, um, you know, I always knew there was the top and the bottom, 
But of course, the way this is laid out, we got the uh, the two two buttons beside, like kind of um, diagonal to each other, and then one on top of the other. Uh, so we know that two of the buttons function the same, and uh, that would be the top action button. And then there's the two bottom button, the buttons on the bottom, the the uh, right and the left side that do different actions. Okay, so I found the jump button. It's the bottom one. So I have to remember to push that one. Oh. You know, in a way, that I, I kind of wish this wasn't as square as it is. I feel it's a little bit, um, like, in my hand after a while. I feel the corners of it. Oh, that was terrible. Like, it's not as jarring as when you're holding the uh, actual television controllers, um, you know, to be in that awkward position. This feels a little bit more natural. I'm not playing too good here, but just to, just to give it an example of the... Uh, I mean, it's definitely something that, that will take some getting used to. And it's weird too when I when I when I'm going up on the ladder and I, I push up, I can feel that the disc kind of spins around a bit, which is which is weird. It feels like it anyway. Yeah, it's it's like spinning. You can see here, spinning like, like I'm pushing up and it spins, <laughs> and it doesn't affect the. Uh, control like it doesn't move Mario if I spin the disc or anything like that obviously so I don't know if that was like if that's how it is on the original but I find it it feels like it's happening a little bit more like that okay Mario go up there ah almost made it okay let's um see what else we can do here Let's give Pitfall a try. Okay, Pitfall Harry. This one might not be a good example because we're only really going one direction. <laughs> Whoa! But it's it's responsive, which is good. I could I could feel it's responsive. I wouldn't say there's any lag or any issues with it. Okay, well, those were my thoughts. Um, playing it just for that little bit of time, just trying it out. Um, you know, I, I did hear some comments about it, you know, feeling like it might be a little bit cheap or or something like that. I know it's, it's not... Uh, these are not like... Um, manufactured in, in, in mass producing and all that stuff like these are these are assembled uh, by a, a very like a small team I guess um, so I'm not gonna expect it to be like a hundred percent and it is all plastic in the end um, but you know it's, it's a different feel it, it does feel like you are you know you get a little bit more control sometimes than maybe you, you might with the uh, the original um, like I mean I I talked about this one in the um, in the first video I did. I don't like this one. It's it's got that too much of a spring to it. I don't like the way this it, it holds. It cradles. It's too thick. Um, you know, this one is at least a little bit thinner. You can see if I if I show a little bit of comparison there. Um, but overall, I mean, I could see this being a little bit more comfortable playing it for for a longer period of time. I guess that's why they they call it the long play. Um, but my my thoughts are I, I kind of don't like the way that it is very very square or rectangle I should say. Um, you know it's it's I don't know if they if this was intentional uh, maybe to mimic the original controllers. But the original controllers when you're holding it like this it's not so bad. But when you're holding it like this the squareness of the corners here really start to uh, you, you start to feel it after a while. It would be nice if it was a bit of a rounded, a little bit more rounded. I mean, it is rounded technically, but 
I mean, you know, more of a comfortable shape. And I think that's something that a lot of um, controllers throughout the years have have kind of morphed and, and changed. Uh, you look at, like, the original Nintendo controller, it was just like this. It was square, but it was smaller, but it was square. And then they started to round it off with the uh, Super Nintendo. And then as you look into the PlayStation stuff, they got more smoother, more rounded, more comfortable to hold. Um, you know, so... Um, as, as much as, you know, this is, uh, it, it's in, innovative in itself, um, and, you know, there's a lot more that can be done, obviously. I mean, these, I don't know how many of uh, these they've created, and how many of these will, will um, you know, how often they'll change design. I remember in the uh, the manual, it, it was, or in that, that booklet it came with, it showed different color variations, so obviously they were working on it for quite some time. But anyways, yeah, th these are just my thoughts on it. Um, you know, just giving it a try, playing it, seeing how it is. I don't know why it sounds like that. I don't know what's moving around in there. I guess springs and stuff like that. It, it's a little bit worrisome when, when you hear things like that because it, it almost sounds like it's going to easily break if I drop it. So I got to be very careful with this thing and not uh, not slam it around or anything. Not get mad at the con at the uh, the Intellivision and throw the controller like I remember doing when I was younger with my Nintendo. Anyways, yeah, those were my thoughts. I just wanted to throw them out there so you can, uh, you know, just see how it is, see, see how it feels. Uh, maybe if you end up picking one up, um, you, you know, give it a shot. Anyways, let me know what you think. Throw some comments down below. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.